why Africa? And I think it's, it's a, it's a no-brainer. Africa holds a, a, you know, a large percentage of the world's critical minerals, 50% of magnesium, 50% of cobalt. Africa needs a seat at the table when we're talking about extracting of the raw materials and then turning that into um, manufacturing and processing on the continent. China has an uh, interest. It holds 90% of the world's uh, processing of critical minerals. It's important that Africa isn't, uh, doesn't repeat history. We don't want to see what happened with oil and gas uh, and gold and diamonds uh, for public sector to engage with private sector because I often see a disconnect in that when I'm sort of dealing with investors. Um, and the need for both to work in tandem. It's, you control infrastructure, you control access to commodities. African governments have seen how important critical minerals are to the West and f looking for a final opportunity now to benefit their own countries from the resources, the critical minerals resources. So we really need to think fast and we need to think strategically around how we're going to utilise these critical minerals, how can we create jobs out of it and how can we bring that value back to the continent. It is a bit of a race to secure these critical minerals and you know we need to have made some serious progress in 10 years because mm. uh, it can take you know it can take easily 10 years to get a mine into production. So I think we'll see China playing uh, a very important role, the US playing an important role, but Africa in itself would be playing a huge role.